we uh, looked at a scenario where we would have more uh, geopolitical tensions that would result in elevated oil prices and energy prices and uh, uh, shipping costs. And what we find is that this would lead to higher price pressures in the global economy. There would be a higher inflation. There would be lower output. And roughly, uh, the estimates we have for a sustained increase in oil prices by about 15% uh, would be an increase in inflation globally of about 0.7%. Uh, 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 so there is some effect there. We are not in that scenario right now. Our assessment of what has been happening with the tensions in the Middle East is there's been some increase in oil prices, but it's too early to say whether that would be sustained, uh, and it's not in our baseline. But we certainly looked at that scenario very carefully. The one that we describe in detail in our report is one where you would have uh, fairly significant uh, disruptions in oil markets that would lead to a 15% increase in oil prices and also uh, increase in, uh, in shipping costs. Um, so, of course, one could think about more adverse scenarios than that. Uh, last night, it was uh, released that uh, China's GDP year-on-year year for the first quarter was 5.3%. Uh, uh, this, this is higher than the, the estimates. This is certainly higher also than uh, the estimates we had here at the fund. Uh, so the um, team will be assessing uh, how they are revising their growth projections for uh, the annual numbers. Um, and it might, uh, might be revised upwards. But the underlying weakness in the property sector is still there. And some of the indicators uh, we have and that were released even uh, in the last few days do seem to point out that that weakness will, will persist. So when we're referring to uh, reform measures that would be needed, those would be measures that would directly address some of the root cause of the weakness in the property sector, and that includes dealing with uh, 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 property developers that are uh, struggling uh, right now and recapitalizing or, or winding them down.